Uh, hello friends, today let's solve search suggestions system. Given an array of strings products and a string search word, we want to design a system that suggests at most three product names from products after each character of search word is typed. Suggested products should have common prefix with the search word. If there are more than three products with a common prefix, return the three lexicographically minimum products. Return list of lists of the suggested products after each character of search word is typed. So this problem should remind you of the um, design autocomplete system. But this question is simpler because it does not ask uh, a word uh, sorted by their frequency. They just want to sort by their uh, lexicographic order. So actually this problem is we need to iterate the search word and for every prefix we check whether a product has the same prefix. If yes, we add that word to a candidate uh, list. And uh, in the end, if the list has a length greater than three, we return the three lexicographically minimum. So the brute force solution should be s easy to find. We just check every prefix and we generate the matching strings. So how to achieve that goal? One thing is that uh, we can use a um, index of function in Java. Product index of a prefix, a prefix string, that means uh, th this product has the same prefix string. Um, if it's more than three, we get the first three lexicographically minimum. So that means we need to sort these candidate uh, strings. The I think the tree set is very good for this um, for this use, we just use a tree set, and for every matching string, we put it uh, into the tree set, and in the end, we check whether the length is greater than three. If it's greater than three, we just return the first three. Okay, so the time complexity, we we can take a peek. We first need to iterate. Uh, i from 0 to n, n is the search length, a uh, search word dot length. And then we get its a prefix string, which is the search word substring from 0 to i plus 1. This is exclusive. And then for every product, we check whether the product index of a pre string is 0. And then if yes, we add that product to the set. So in total, the time complexity should be this n, n is a search word dot length. The m is the total number of the products. And uh, this set is k times log k. k is the size of the set. So in total is big O n times m times k log k. Okay, but if you look carefully, you will find some repeated uh, and useless calculation. See this example. If the products are named happy, girl, happier, and the search word is happiness, so we check from index zero, and this edge, and you should notice that girl is not matched with this edge. In this time, we check once, and then for the H A, it can never match this girl, and girl can never match any prefix of the happiness. So in this case, if we use this algorithm, we actually calculate uh, the girl every time. So we should uh, remove this uh, repeated, uh, remove this useless calculation. So once they have one character that not match, we do not need to check uh, this string anymore in the future. So we should uh, uh, avoid to um, compare this word to the prefix anymore. And uh, because we need to get the lexicographically smallest always, so we can actually sort the uh, products at first. 
So we, uh, in this case, we always get uh, the lo lexicographically smallest. And then we do the same thing. We iterate uh, the search word from 0 to n. And as this product is al already sorted, and uh, based on this observation, observation, we just uh, check whether the character is matched with the character in the search word. If it's not matched, we just uh, skip that word. So the simplest way is use two pointers. is one named low, one named high. The low check from left to right, the high checked from right to left. But you should uh, always make sure the index is valid. So low should uh, always be less or equal than high. And uh, the product's low dot length should uh, be greater than i. Why? Say if the i is, uh, say if it's zero, and if product low dot length equal to zero, we can never get uh, the product zero. So that, sh that uh, should always make sure the product's low length is greater than i. Then we can get the index i, right? Okay. Then the product log dot char at i is not equal to the search word i. That means uh, we can never use this product law anymore. So we just move law forward. OK. Uh, then this is from right to left. So in this case, the products between the index low and high are valid. But we should always make sure there can at most be three products. So we get a minimum of the low plus three, because low is valid, and uh, the low is valid, and we can at most get a three. So we plus three, low, low plus one, low plus two, the high plus one because high is also valid. So if i plus one, that means we can never like uh, um, mm, exceed uh, this high. So if it's less than three, we should make sure uh, high is the largest one. And then we add the low, um, we, we add that valid um, um, products to the result list. OK. So in the end, uh, the time complexity should uh, be the big O k times n log m. m is the number of the products. The k is the maximum length of the pr ending product. For this for loop, this is n, n is the length of the search word. And for the this two while loop, this is just a linear. And uh, the complexity should be big O m. m is the number of the products. So for this part, in total, it's big O n times m. So in the end, uh, the time complexity should be uh, k times um, m log m. OK, now let's write the code. We first uh, need uh, the result. Oh, sorry. Just call the result and the array list. And then we need uh, two. Oh, sorry. List. And then we need uh, two pointers: zero, high. Also, um, we need the uh, n. N is the products. Products dot length. So. The low is 0, high is n minus 1. And uh, the length is the search word uh, dot length. And then 4 into i to 0. i less than length, i plus plus. We check whether it is valid. So one thing is low should less or equal than high. And uh, the we should uh, make sure the products low dot length if it's less or equal than i or uh, oh my god if it's less than i or products low char at uh, i is not equal than the search would uh, char at um, i 
we should uh, move the law forward. And for the right part, if the law less or equal than high, and uh, the product's high dot length less or equal than i, or the search the product's high char at uh, i not equal to search word char at uh, i, we move high uh, backward. And now we get a valid uh, a scope from low to high. So we get a minimum, which should uh, be the low plus 3 and the high plus 1. This Both of these two, in, uh, two index are exclusive. So for int j from low j less than minimum j plus plus, we should uh, get a list, we call it array list, and then this uh, add uh, the products uh, j. OK, in the end, we just return result. Oh, sorry, this place result at this current list. OK, I think I finished. Ah, oh, wrong answer. Let's see what's. Ah, oh, I know. Do you find the bug? We actually do not sort these products. So we should uh, choose sort these products at first. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.